When Terre Haute sculptor unveiled his latest piece of art in Vincennes today, <laughs> the statue's impact stretches back to the city's founding. News 10's Eric Stidman got a first-hand look at the piece of art. It's new tonight from our Southern Bureau. You might have heard this man's name a time or two, standing tall and proud in the Knox County Library. He's got a very long formal name, so for time's sake and to keep it simple, this is Francois Vincennes. And for the first time, you can match a face with a name, sort of. This was a challenge because there's no paintings or drawings of, of Vincennes, of, of him. Francois Vincennes gets the credit for, well, being the namesake of the anchor city in Knox County. History says he helped set up a post here around 283 years ago. A Frenchman by way of Canada, one of the earliest settlers in the area. So why is he on display at the library? I thought it was just past due. Uh, this is part of our history that needs to be told before it's lost forever. Project leaders hope to have Mr. Vincennes bronzed and ready to be on display by the time of Indiana's bicentennial, making the statue the first and only one of its kind to celebrate the city's French roots. Terre Haute artist Bill Wolf crafted the sculpture. I actually just sat there and said, okay, Mr. Vincennes, tell me what you look like. And so I just started sculpting a, a face. Joy Biggs founded the vision to put the French back in Vincennes. Because Sir de Vincennes started it all. For Francois himself, he'll be hanging out in the library until Biggs' group, Friends of Vincennes Heritage, can come up with a better place to put him and be on display for the masses for thousands of years to come. In Vincennes, I'm Eric Stidman, News 10. One possible location for the statue is on the city's soon-to-be Heritage Trail.